So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Six of Pentacles, and it's with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles, it's often a sign of a turn for the better, especially when it comes to money. This card is actually one of the more positive pinnacles in the deck. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Yeah, not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you're either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Now it's with the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles um, is actually a really good card in the deck. It means stability. Yeah, so it's about someone being stable, loyal, um, hardworking, sincere, um, protective. This Knight of Pentacles can be your knight in shining armor. That's the type of energy this card is about. Yeah, a loyalty. So what I'm picking up on, Virgo, with the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, is that uh, you and your person, the in the recent past, um, the energy, the connection was really good. There was a healthy dose of give and take with the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, very healthy. Give and take was very good. And you could have wanted something committed or solid or um you could have wanted to uh, um you, you could have wanted to commit to this person because you felt it was solid and stable and very practical you felt like there was loyalty and faithfulness that's what you get with the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, so the recent past energy between you, you and your person very is very, very good. But let's move on over and let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got this Death card. And it's with the Eight of Swords. Now, the Death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily, or even usually, indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death. And I say this because we're all creatures with free will. And such things, they're simply not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change so definitely a time of deep transformation it could be both internally and externally in your life yeah maybe some situations or things or people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. This transition, it can be very difficult for some people, even though the change is nearly always needed. Now, it's with the hangman. Nope, not the hangman. It's with the eight of swords. Yeah, sorry, I'm moving too fast. The hang, the, um, the death card is clarified with the Eight of Swords, the card below the word present. So the Eight of Swords, with this one you could be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future, or maybe you're wary of getting hurt by a situation, or maybe for no reason at all. 
So, it's important to think through what it is you're afraid of. Because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, coming up, Virgo, the death card clarified by this Eight of Swords. Well, like I said, things are going really, really well between you and your person in the recent past, but coming up, wow, somebody's holding themselves back. Could be afraid to move forward with, with you. Yeah, your person could be feeling that way, or maybe you're feeling that way. But I'm getting, I'm getting for most of you, it's your person. They're holding themselves back. They're afraid to put one foot in front of the other and and move forward. Mm, yeah, if you look at the Eight of Swords, it's the card that's below the word present. There's um there's this man standing there. He's kind of like caged himself in with eight swords, but there's an opening right there in front of him. There's a hot fire behind him and a huge bull. But he's just standing there where he could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but no. The person's afraid to move forward in this connection with you. Now, it's with a death card, so you could, um, this, this, their, um, actions could be making you come to some type of conclusion. Maybe you're realizing that this needs to be finality, because a death card can be about losing interest. It could be about coming to a conclusion. It could be about finality. It could be about deep change, deep transformation. So they're holding back. And maybe you realize that um, things are just different now. Yeah, before it was really good between you and your person. You both were giving to each other, and um, it felt like it was stable. It could go to some type of commitment or become really serious. But yeah, you could be like, the way they're acting, holding themselves back, for whatever reason, maybe they're just afraid to move forward. For some reason, you would know what it is. But it's making you feel like you need to come to a conclusion, too. And for some of you, you realize that you're, you've changed. Or you could be thinking that they've changed, but what I'm getting is that you're changing also. Yeah. Maybe you're not who you once were when you two first met. And things are just really different in the connection now. So like I said, they're holding back and you're, you're kind of losing interest here. You might come to a conclusion that this is you know, maybe finality, maybe it's, it's um, maybe an ending. Yeah, because you're, you're really not the same as you once were. Or you could be thinking they're, that they're different. Someone sees the other really different. Really different now. Maybe you two have been together for a long time. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Five of Swords ends with the Hangman. Yeah. Now the Five of Swords... It's actually about it's about conflict. I really don't have to tell you too much about this one. Uh, yeah, it means conflict is near. If you look at the picture, it really says it all. It's about the word challenge. Yeah, this man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire.
but but when they got a glimpse of him, they all ran. They scrammed. So this card is an indicator that conflict is near. And it's with the hangman. Now the hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads. One with only two options type of crossroads. In or out, up or down. Yes or no. Or you could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is. Or how to do it. So if this happens, it could be a sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of the tips to control life. Maybe a situation, maybe a person, or things. Because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of any sacrifice that you make. It's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So all in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So your challenge, Virgo Five of Swords, clarified by the hangman. Yeah, so like I said, you f you know your person is holding back. Um, something's really different now. This could be you could be different, or your person could be really different. Just things have changed in a big way. Yeah, it's not like it was in the past with you and this person, or when you first met them. It was healthy and the energy was stable, but now things are off. You could be losing interest. It looks like there's a fight coming up, though, with the Five of Swords here. Yeah, there's conflict. A lot of arguing, fighting, disagree disagreements. So, the person's holding back. And it's causing, um, with the hangman here, it's causing, um, Confusion is causing a person to be stuck in their head. Not sure what to do next. They just, they know that um, they've been holding themselves back. But now it's like, where do I go from here? You guys just had a big fight. Big disagreement, big argument. So like I said, they were holding back. But now they, they feel like they're just stuck in their head now. Now what to do? In or out, up or down, yes or no? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I let go of an outdated attitude and s s or an outdated wish of how things should be? That's what the hangman could be about. Because if you let go of an outdated attitude or a wish, then things could turn around. But they're confused. And it looks like you could be mad, or maybe the both of you are mad because there was a big fight. Five of Swords can be about someone being really pissed and angry. And it's all about conflict. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Page of Pentacles, and it's with the Queen of Wands. Now, the Page of Pentacles can be a card about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. You might want to rethink the impulse. Find a better use of your energy. Because excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles is actually a really good energy to support you when you have tedious work to accomplish. Because it gives you focus. It gives you backbone. And it gives you the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, it's with the Queen of Wands, which can refer to a woman 
she could have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, if this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Maybe focus on work or career. The Queen of Wands is actually a very positive card in the deck. It's uplifting. Um, when she stands for a person in your life, she's a good friend who's solidly on your side, even though she may seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get this card in the reading, it's actually one of the more positive signs that there can be. Yeah, so the outcome page of Pentacles clarified by this Queen of Wands. Yeah, somebody is kind of bored with the fighting and the the bickering and the disagreements. Like I said, your person there is stuck in their head now. They've been holding back. You're coming to a conclusion that things are just different. You're not who you once were. When you first two met, and, and neither are they. So there's fighting and, and arguing. There's, there's someone being mad and angry. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of downloads here, Virgo. You might know someone who's very determined about you. Very determined, this Queen of Wands is here. Queen of Wands is a very confident type of energy. Very determined, egotistical, used to getting what she wants, she knows her worth. Or you could be very determined about someone. I want to say you're determined about this connection, but that's not what I'm getting. Because it's with this Page of Pentacles, which is about boredom. So, you're bored, you're kind of over the fighting, you're kind of over this connection. So, this determined person here, yeah, so your person that you're dealing with, this could be them. They're no longer stuck in their head. They could be realizing that they need to have more confidence in this connection and more fight for it. Yeah. Because they were, your person was confused, not sure what to do. They were holding back. But they're realizing that they need to have more confidence and fight for this or be stronger. Or be more determined about the connection, about you, and try to make it work. But you're losing, you're really losing interest though. Yeah, this Page of Pentacles is, like I said, it's about boredom. You're kind of over it. Page of Pentacles, whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can also indicate a student, it can indicate youth, it can indicate mat immaturity, or it could indicate someone's younger than you. So maybe your person is a lot younger than you, and they're on the immature side. That's what you could be feeling also, because you, the outcome is showing that you just over it. Yeah, you already came to a conclusion. But your person is, is, is feeling that they need to be more determined about trying to keep this together. Yeah, because that's the Queen of Wands. A lot of fire type of energy, so they feel like they need to give it more of a fight. Yeah, fight for this connection and... Um, 
be more determined because I don't think that they're ready for this. I don't think they're ready for you to walk away. You no, know, they were holding back. They were stuck in their head, but yeah, the outcome is showing that they, they could want to keep this going and um, yeah, just give it more effort and energy. But you're, you're losing interest though. But that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you. How you see yourself. Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Let us all thank God that things are things are not worse than they than we all know that they could be. Things could be a lot worse. So hang in there. Stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, a co-worker or a situation. So yeah, just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.